have you ever been to the desert? This characteristic landscape has a fear of plants and a harsh environment like a left side of the slide. And it is currently expanding. This phenomenon is called desertification. Desertification causes a loss of plants, nutrient rich soil, energy, and food in the land. People not living in the desertificated lands may also suffer from the health program caused by the dust storm due to the desertification. To solve these programs, greening projects that involve planting trees have been conducted. But the harsh environmental conditions prevent the success of the many projects. It is necessary to find a new effective way to restore the dedicated lands. There are many kinds of organisms, including animals, plants, and microorganisms. These tiny organisms the all over the world, or of course in the dry land as well. The microbes in dry lands can survive under extremely hot and dry conditions. Some of them have a special ability. Some kind of microorganisms can make soil hard in the same way as a coral. The hard soil prevents the occurrence of the dust stones and offer plants a stable ground to grow more easily. Algae are green microorganisms and absorb CO2 like plants. Algae also keep the soil wet and nutrient rich. That contribute a good quality of food and vegetation. The major greening method is introducing plants. But how about introducing these tough microorganisms with various abilities? That's a new point and focus on research. I have said that coral-like microbe would help the growth of the plant-like microbe, and therefore algae would grow and spread faster than when formed by algae alone. This technique could be applied in more severe desertificated lands because of the toughness and the combination of these microorganisms. My research would improve the people's lives who live not only in the desertificated land, but also all over the world. When you walk outside, please watch the ground under your feet. You can find a tiny organism with a great potential.